humorous. Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Teresia. We're trainers who found anatomy can be quite challenging, but it can also be quite humorous. So today we're going to be discussing the gluteus maximus. We're going to talk about its connection points, both its proximal and distal connections. Teresia is going to draw the muscle so you can see where it lives on a skeleton, and then we'll show you where the muscle lives on a real human being. We'll show you the actions of the gluteus maximus, as well as some movement patterns that the muscle does, and how those relate to the muscle's function. So hopefully, after our songs, drawings, and dances, you will have found some fun and humorous ways to remember the gluteus maximus. Did you know that humans are the only species with a glute max? It allows us to run, walk, climb stairs, and even helps with your posture. Let's go take a look at this muscle on the skeleton. Here I've drawn the pelvis. This is the sacrum, ilium, coccyx, and femur bone. This is the hip joint right here, and this is the SI joint. So now I'm going to mark the points on the skeleton so that you can see how the muscle moves in relation to the bones it's connected to. So now we're going to take a look at the proximal connection. We're going to start with the posterior surface of the ilium. Underneath is the posterior gluteal line. Through here is the fascia of the erector spinae. These are part of your back muscles. Then we have the dorsal surface of the sacrum, the coccyx, the sacrotuberous ligament through here, and then the fascia of the gluteus medius. Let's take a look at the distal connections. The muscle attaches to the IT band of the fascia lata and the gluteal tuberosity of the femur. I'm going to connect the proximal and distal connections via muscle fibers. Notice how the fibers cross diagonally from the proximal to the distal connections. The direction of these muscle fibers gives you a clue to the function of the glute max. So now I'm going to take these stickers so that we can mark Jessica to find the connection points. We're going to start with the proximal connections, posterior surface of the ilium, posterior gluteal line, erector spinae, sacrum, coccyx, sacrotuberous ligament, gluteus medius, now we're going to go to the distal connections. IT band of the fascia lata, gluteal tuberosity of the femur. Now we're going to connect these points using this string here. Notice that the fibers that connect the superior proximal connections all attach to the IT band distally, while the inferior proximal connections all connect to the gluteal tuberosity of the femur. Keep these two segments in mind when we discuss the actions of the muscle. As you can see, there are a lot of fibers that make the gluteus maximus a pretty big muscle. If we know that the pink dots connect to the green dots, contracting the muscle should bring these points together. When all the muscle fibers contract, the gluteus maximus extends and externally rotates the leg. The upper fibers abduct the leg, while the lower fibers adduct the leg. If you keep both femur bones fixed, it will create extension at the hip, like when you do pelvic tilts. It will extend the torso upright when you stand up from sitting and from bending over to lift up something. The glute max also helps to stabilize the knee when your hip is in extension via the IT band. For example, like when you stand on one leg. It also stabilizes the SI joint, which prevents things like sciatica. Here are some examples of exercises that work the gluteus maximus. Squats, bridges, lunges, deadlifts, step-ups, plyometric jumps. 
The booty muscle wants a beat. Hit it. The gluteus max is a real big mother. It helps you walk from one foot to the other. When the legs stand still, it makes the pelvis work. I think in pop culture that is known as a twerk. All right. When the hips stand still, it makes the leg move about. It's a little complex, but I'll show you what to shout. It pulls it back, turns it out, squeezes in, or kicks it out. The gluteus max, cause baby got back. Huh. Thanks for joining us on Quite Humorous. We hope you enjoyed learning about the gluteus maximus. Tune in next time for another muscle. There's only 640 of them. <laughs>